Manasa. Friends, it is the second video of study series for class 12 examination 2020. Friends, in this series, I am considering different chapters from class 12 syllabus along with the weightage of that chapter, important topics, important formulae and frequently asked questions from that chapter in different examination. And friends, uh, I have already uploaded a video about uh, solid state, first chapter of the class 12 syllabus. Please watch that video and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification regarding new videos. And friends, in this video, I am considering second chapter of class 12 syllabus, solutions. And friends, this chapter carries totally 7 marks. Two one mark question and one five mark question will be asked from this chapter. Totally seven marks from solution chapter. And friends, please remember one thing. Here marks distribution list is for only Karnataka students. Other all the important topics or important formulae from this chap uh, chapter etc. are useful for CBSC students also and uh, students from any other state also. But this marks distribution list is only for Karnataka PUC student. Here, in case of 5 mark question, either it is uh, divided as 3 plus 2 or sometimes it is 4 plus 1. So, 2 1 mark question and 1 5 mark question. In case of 5 mark question, 1 numerical problem based on colligative properties will definitely ask. Then, the important uh, topics from this chapter. First one, types of solution and example. Uh, in in uh, NCRT book, there is a table for this uh, types of solution. Gas in gas, liquid in gas, etc. So, all those types of solution and example for different types are very, very important. So, please read that concept. Then, concentration terms. There are so many terms we are, in which we are expressed the concentration of a solution. Like, molarity, molarity, etc. Molarity means... Number of moles of the solute per liter of the solution. Then molarity, number of moles of the solute per kg of the solvent. Normality, number of gram equivalent mass per liter of the solvent or a liter of the solution. Mole fraction means mole fraction of a component is equal to number of moles of that component divided by number of moles of all the components. Then ppm, parts per million. Friends, these are very, very important terms, but there are other uh, concentration terms are there like uh, mass percentage, volume percentage, etc. So, please read all those uh, terms. Then, solubility and factors affecting solubility. Factors affecting solubility is a very important concept. How does the solubility changes uh, with temperature, pressure or uh, sol uh, nature of the solvent and solute, etc. So, these factors are very, very important important. Then Henry's law. The statement of Henry's and Rohr's law and mathematical expression are important. In case of Henry's law, the statement is the partial pressure of the gas in vapor phase is directly proportional to mole fraction of that gas in the solution. And the proportionality constant KH is called Henry's constant. P is equal to KH into X. In case of Rohr's law, the statement is, for a solution of uh, volatile liquids, the partial vapor pressure of each component in the vapor phase is directly proportional to the mole fraction of that component in the solution. So, P1 is equal to P1 naught into X1. Here, P1 naught is the uh, vapor, uh, partial, uh, sorry, uh, vapor pressure of the pure component. Here, if we replace this KH, by P1 naught, then we get the mathematical expression of Rohr's law. So, we can say Rohr's law is a special case of Henry's law when KH is equal to P1 naught. So, it is also a very important concept. Then, ideal and non-ideal solution. Very, very important and must read topic from this chapter. Ideal and non-ideal solution. Ideal solutions are the, those solutions which obey Rohr's law over entire range of concentration. And non-ideal solution which do not obey the Rohr's law. And some other uh, uh, differences are there between ideal and non-ideal solution. 
So here properties, difference between them and example for them. All the three concepts are important. In case of difference, if we consider that uh, ideal solution obey the Rolle's law, non-ideal solution do not obey, then for ideal solution, volume of mixing and enthalpy of mixing both are equal to zero. In case of non-ideal solution, both uh, uh, volume of mixing and enthalpy of mixing are not equal to zero. And just remember one example for ideal and non-ideal solution. So this difference may be asked for two or three marks. So generally two mark. Then solution showing positive and negative deviation. This is also a very important concept. Here in case of positive and negative deviation, Examples are important and you have to know the interactions between this uh, solute and solvent particles etc. So I have already uploaded some videos about these concepts. Please watch those videos for more information about these topics. Here uh, solution showing positive and negative deviation also. The properties, difference and example are important. Then azeotropes. So, azeotropes are the binary mixtures which have same composition in the liquid and vapor phase and boil at constant temperature. In case of azeotropes, there are two types of azeotropes. Minimum boiling azeotropes and maximum boiling azeotropes. Minimum boiling azeotropes. Here, in case of solution showing positive deviation, the solution showing large positive deviation from Rolle's law form minimum boiling azeotropes and solution showing large negative deviation from Rolle's law form maximum boiling azeotropes. Please remember this point. Positive deviation, minimum boiling azeotrope, negative deviation, maximum boiling azeotropes. Then about isotonic solution. The solutions having same osmotic pressure at a given temperature are called isotonic solution. Then reverse osmosis and application. So it is important question. Here uh, for two mark, define reverse osmosis and write an application etc. So those types of question may be asked. So reverse osmosis and its application. Then ideal and difference between ideal and non-ideal solution. Factors affecting solubility. These are very important concepts and the statement and mathematical expression of these two. So friends, uh, these concepts are very very important concepts and another is Van Hoff factor. Here, in case of numericals, numericals based on colligative properties will definitely ask. Here some uh, uh, important formulae are there. The first one, so colligative, in case of colligative properties, there are four colligative properties. First one, relative lowering of vapor pressure. The formula is P1 naught minus P1 divided by P1 naught is equal to W2 into M1 divided by M2 into W1. In case of all these formula, W2 means mass of the solute and M1 means, okay, M2 means molar mass of the solute. W1 means mass of the solvent and M1 means molar mass of the solvent. Here P1 naught vapor pressure of the pure component and P1 vapor pressure of the solution. So it is the formula for relative lowering of the vapor pressure. So what do you, what do you mean by relative lowering of vapor pressure? If a non-volatile solute is added to a solution, then the vapor pressure of the solution will be less than that of the pure solvent. So it is relative lowering of the vapor pressure. And then elevation of boiling point. If vapor pressure is decreased, then naturally boiling point will increases. So, when we add a non-volatile solute to a solution, then, sorry, solvent, then the boiling point of the solution is greater than that of the pure solvent. So, it is called elevation of boiling point. We can calculate that by the, subtracting the uh, boiling point of the solvent by uh, boiling point of the solution. Delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb naught. Here Tb naught is the boiling point of the pure solvent and Tb it is the boiling point of the solution after the addition of that solute. 
So then we get the value of delta Tb that is elevation of boiling point. Then the formula delta Tb is equal to Kb into W2 into 1000 divided by M2 into W1. It is the formula for elevation of boiling point. Here Kb is the molar elevation constant. Then depression of freezing point. So here freezing point of the solution is greater sorry lesser than that of the pure solvent. So freezing point will decreases so it is called depression of the freezing point and delta Tf is equal to Tf0 minus Tf. Here Tf0 is the freezing point of the solvent pure solvent and Tf it is the freezing point of the solution. Delta Tf is equal to Kf into W2 into 1000 divided by M2 into W1. Here Kf is the molar depression constant. Here both the formula are same. It is Kb and Kf. Molar elevation constant, molar depression constant. Then fourth colligative property, osmotic pressure. Pi is equal to W2 into RT divided by M2 into V. Here R universal gas constant, T absolute temperature and V is the volume. So osmotic pressure pi is equal to W2 into RT divided by M2 into V. So friends, one numerical problem from the uh, colligative property will definitely ask. So please practice the numerical and very soon I will upload uh, a video about the numericals based on colligative properties. Please watch, uh, please wait for that video and very very important uh, concept, Van't Hoff factor. So Van't Hoff factor is important for uh, class 12 examination and very very important for CET examination. Here Van't Hoff factor I is equal to normal molar mass divided by abnormal molar mass. There are three formulae for Van't Hoff factor. Normal molar mass divided by abnormal molar mass or absorbed colligative property divided by calculated colligative property or Van't Hoff factor I is equal to total number of moles of particles after association or dissociation divided by number of particles before association or dissociation. So calculation of Van't Hoff factor may be asked for one more question or the, the formula for Van't Hoff factor may be asked. And friends, please remember one thing. If association or dissociation of the particles or of the solute particles are taking place, then just multiply the value of Van't Hoff factor for these uh, values of colligative properties. For example, here, if there is association or dissociation of the particles, then just multiply I for this value. Or here, I like that. So just multiply the value of colligative property by the value of Van't Hoff factor if there is association or dissociation of the particles. And friends, these are some uh, important uh, topics from solution chapter. And I have already uploaded some videos about uh, these uh, topics also. Please watch those videos and please remember the factors affecting solubility, then difference between ideal and non-ideal solution, mathematical expression and statement of these two laws, and reverse osmosis and its application, azeotropes, and Van't Hoff factor are important topics and one numerical from colligative properties is definite question. So please solve different numericals and practice them. And uh, if you have any doubt about these topics, please write your doubts in the comment section. I will try to solve your doubts and uh, please uh, write your opinion about this video in the comment section. And friends, please like this video and share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry. Thank you.